All right, folks, name's Darren Barracloth here. Here we are in Virgin, Utah, the Red Bull Rampage. Yeah, I'm not riding. First year that I've uh, officially retired from competing. Definitely weird, but uh, nonetheless, I'm here to uh, show you guys what's been going on up, up on this hill and uh, go say what up to the homies. Let's, uh, let's go check out what Brendog's been up to. First off, coming in with a pretty marginal <laughs> Pretty rough and rowdy while turning. Not a lot of freaking space to screw up. She came through some boulders off pretty much a North Shore bridge wide lip to an uphill landing. Gotta love freaking Brendan. Always comes up with this stuff. Are you, uh, got sucked in our candy gap? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> we like needed a way to come over because we like to traverse and like use the whole mountain. Yeah. We needed a way over, and what better way to get from that ridge to this ridge? And to jump it. Yeah, fly. One can pedal around it. Like it's the most efficient way. Absolutely. So yeah, that's that's what we did. Beauty. But yeah, and it's it's not as secretly, not as gnarly as previous years because like, <laughs> you can the running's pretty nice, and you can oh, see it, it. it. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Not yeah. like the last one. All right, heading up, uh, Brendan Fairclough rock that he's named Dwayne Johnson for good reasons. Coming out. Ooh. Taking a page out of my book. I yeah. like it. Using the boulders. Hey, you inspired me back when you showed me that thing you threw 60 off at your jumps. Years and years ago. I looked off the edge and the landing was like Oh underneath. right, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no way that can work. Plum dropper. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I like no, it. Well, you know what? We just we saw it and committed to it. That's awesome. So we're now we're gonna make it happen. So uh down on the bottom. Here's reader. Yeah, what do you think of this venue? Um, I like this one. It's uh I know it's like um a hundred and fifty feet or two hundred feet taller. Not much, but it's which seems isn't like a much lot. well, which is a lot when we have to build in the same amount of days with the True. same amount of diggers Got a fresh zone um this is the first year where i've had like my own zone and no one's been like messing with you looking in the same area so i don't know i'd say i'd say that this one's probably my favorite yet and i'm i'm definitely um in, you know pushing myself harder than i have before which is cool nice and you got um, your roommate in yeah. Slapping dirt for you? Yeah, my roommate Matt McDuff is mm -hmm. slaving away. Those guys have been chipping rock for. Oh man. They just finished this morning, I think. It's so, so insane chipping rock that long. Yeah, on one landing too. Oh. Yeah. So they've been they've been slaving. They've been killing it though. You look at all this rock. I mean, this dirt and underneath it could be the hardest rock. And Which, you could have no idea. It looks like you've been hard at it right there. Yeah, three oh. days. Three days. It took three days to chisel that out? Yeah. Wow. That's insane, eh? So if you don't understand what he's talking about, that white band right there took three days to chisel that out. And the reason that they do that is because that's a landing and they're gonna, Brett's gonna huck his meat off the top of the hill. It's the same stuff that caveman made spears from. <laughs> I'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah. it's the hardest, sharpest rock uh, in the world, yeah. It's kind of like choose your own danger this year. Yeah. So I think uh, everyone's feeling more comfortable, you know, and yeah. a little bit at home because there's a little less exposure on this mountain. You should hike up over and go down and see Jordy. Cool, I'll do that. Because uh, I think he could win. Jordy? Yeah. I, I know he can win. He's yeah, like keep his head on his shoulder. He's got uh, some incredible stuff that he's going to ride down. Nader. Okay. Amen. What up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So what do you got up top here? Uh, we start the very top and go riders right out of the gate. I heard you kind of did your own thing. Yeah, through boulder field of <laughs> many, many bathtub sized rocks. Starts up with some flow and a good jump. And then we drop in and step down off the ridge and uh, come into this double drop here, which Bass and I are teaming up on. And yeah, it's all about the teamwork. Dude, it's crazy yeah. how many how much shit's been done already because like there, there's five guys on a line over there right? <laughs> Fuck. but so we'll see if it pays to go on your own or stick with the herd what do you yeah. think of this venue versus <laughs> the last couple years i like it 
I think yeah. the venue's awesome. Like taller, steeper. I mean, for a first year venue, it's obviously tough with that much more elevation. Just getting a line top to bottom yeah, put in. That much more work. So you got to kind of pick your features, and then this year just kind of get between them as best you can. And it's sweet. It's not going to be a slope style on the bottom. Yeah, absolutely. Like it kind of flattens out, and there's not so much jumpy, rolly terrain at the bottom, mm -hmm. um, which People I think. Focusing on their tricks up top. I think for this event, it, it it suits the event more, which is awesome. Kind of back to the roots, freaking man up, freaking do some big shit. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs>